Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I just wanted to quickly show you my setup from the previous video. I was using that uh, supersonic radio. It's under uh, $15. And I was using that Sanjian right there antenna on a reel. And it's about 12, 15 feet long. And it rolls up on that reel for easy storage or transportation. And then I'm outside. Let me back up here a little bit without falling over. And so what I have over there on that pole is a rope that goes up in this tree and around the limb up there. That's about 12, 15 feet up in the air. And what I can easily do is I just attach an antenna that I want to test to uh, one side of this rope and just hoist it up. And there we go. So you can build yourself. You can either buy one of these Sanjian little wire antennas on a reel from my Amazon store. Or you can build one out of just a piece of wire and an alligator clip. And... If you're only going to use the piece of wire, and as you can see, this is pretty lightweight wire, very flexible. Doesn't have to be heavy. The lighter the better, matter of fact. Um, you can just get you some, some wire. And I think I showed many shows ago. You can go to the, like the Dollar Tree store, and they have reels of wire for either um, hanging pictures up with or... For making a wire clothesline or anything, and there, I think it's about 50 feet for a dollar. Uh, it's bare wire. That's the only disadvantage is, is bare wire. Uh, it's better to use uh, insulated wire, so it, the wire doesn't short against anything. And uh, just string it up like I did. You can even do it temporarily, like I did, or permanently. But if you use it outside, away from your house and all the RF noise, you're okay. But if you want to bring it inside, you need to attach a piece of coax, shielded coax cable, to that antenna wire away from the house, away from the RF noise. And then use that shielded cable to bring the signal in to your house and ground the shielded cable and then use the center conductor to connect your radio. So you can have kind of a permit set up. It will greatly improve your shortwave listening reception. Greatly. I mean, you could you could tune the bands with a built-in telescopic antenna, and you won't get anything. You attach a simple wire antenna. The longer, the better. Um, 25 feet or greater is good. 100 feet would be ideal, but that's. A lot of people don't have room to string a 100-foot piece of wire. And the hike up in the air is best. Now, let me just show you real briefly. Here is, over here, I don't know if it'll show up or not, that black pole, that is a 31-foot telescopic pole fiberglass that MFJ sent me. And all it is is a piece of wire, here it is right here, wrapped around this pole going 31 feet in the air and it does come with this matching transformer uh, to, uh, to match the impedance. That's one other thing that will affect the performance of a long wire antenna is the impedance of just a long piece of wire is going to be pretty high for what your radio wants. Your radio typically wants 50 ohms. So having a matching transformer uh, will help, definitely will help. So that's another option. Um, I've showed you other antennas. Uh, there's one right up there, that black box there, move over this way. That's also from MFJ. That's actually a transmitting antenna. It's um, an in-fed antenna. It just has the one leg that goes out to my front yard. And um, it has that matching transformer in that box. Okay, so that's it. Definitely, uh, if you want to prove your shortwave listening 
get some kind of antenna. Like I say, you can use these long wire antennas outside and uh, you don't have to do much more of anything. If you want to bring it inside, you need to have shielded cable. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Bye-bye.